So Johnny Pops basically started four years ago. Um, I was with my cousin Jonathan, who we dreamed up this business plan of starting an all-natural food product. Um, four months after we dreamed up this plan, Jonathan unfortunately passed away um, due to a drug overdose. Uh, so when I came back to school that following fall, I pitched it to three of my college friends and said, hey, we should turn this into a real company. Uh, therefore, we named it after Jonathan, which is where we got the name Johnny Pops, and we got a social mission or created a social mission that we donate to the Hazelnut Foundation to help kids battling drug addiction. Um, so from the beginning, we knew we wanted to make a product that was natural. Um, it basically didn't have anything artificial in it because we sort of paralleled that with our social mission of being drug free. Um, and so in general, we came out with this product that you know only featured natural ingredients and no artificial fillers or anything like that. What's different about a Johnny Pop is you know, as opposed to sort of an artificial icy texture, um, you know, we feature cream in it and you know, only fruit. And so you're looking at more of like a smoothie on a stick as opposed to like an artificial you know, ice bar. So they only have um, fruit, water, cream, sugar, and a pinch of salt in it. Um, most of the sugar actually comes from the berries as opposed to having to be added. Uh, so therefore you just get a very natural tasting bar. Johnny Pops has uh, four available flavors. Summer strawberry, which tastes uh, like a smoothie uh, made exclusively with strawberry. It's delicious, it's creamy. Our second flavor is coconut pineapple paradise, which uh, is made mostly with pineapple, a little bit of coconut, and tastes like a pina colada on a stick. Merry Mountain Berry, it's a mix of raspberries and blueberries, and again really emulates a smoothie in its texture and taste. Uh, in 2013, we added an addition to our line, and that was the flavor Chocolate. And that was modeled after the mocha frappuccino flavor that the people really love in their coffee. But what we did is we took it and adjusted it from being something that was artificial, made with flavorings, to being a natural product and something that kept our, our trademark creamy consistency on the stick to almost ice cream-like. Well, one of our first customers outside the metro area by any, any distance was the Lake Superior Zoo uh, in Duluth. And we worked with them actually in 2012 and we did drive Pops, believe it or not, two hours up 35 uh, to drop them off ourselves. And that was fantastic. We thought they were a great account. So we reached out to them and said, here is the, the problem that we're having. We really like working with you. We know you really like our product. but." We, aren't, we, we don't want to distribute, we, we don't do, that's not what we're good at. We're good at making a delicious product. And they said, well, we work with this company now. Uh, we just started working with them. We really like them and think you would be a good fit for them. Uh, the company's Upper Lakes Foods. They're a food service distributor based in Cloquet. Uh, our relationship with Upper Lakes so far has surpassed really all of our expectations. They did a fantastic job of taking our product marketing it to their customers who they thought would be a good fit for our product not just in the summer but on a year-round basis because they understood the challenges of our product and its seasonality and so we worked with them all last fall including participating in their fall food show in November and managed to get a substantial customer base who was open year-round and so we we moved far more product this winter than I would have ever anticipated. We've done something really cool in the last year and that is to strip the popsicle down and examine the stick underneath it. We thought we could do something more, something to, to really forward our mission of a better pop uh, for a better world. And so what we've done is we've generated these lists of what we call better world challenges. And really what they are when, it, when you boil it down is they're small kindnesses that we encourage people to, to use to, to pay it forward because you never know when something small for you like saying thank you or holding the door or picking up a piece of trash in the park is gonna make a really big difference in the world. And we think that that's the foundation of, of making our world a better place one pop at a time.